Welcome to part two of flipping for a week. If you haven't already seen part one, then go watch it. It'll be linked down below and then come back to this one. If you don't remember, this is exactly where I ended part one of this series. I just listed the PC that I talked about in part one and we still have six PCs listed. So hopefully they sell fast. Okay, it is Thursday night. So we have three days left in this challenge. It is 7.56 and honestly, today was a super unproductive lazy day. I got nothing done, but mainly because I'm still waiting on those cases to arrive so I can build more PCs. But I picked up the camera because someone is on their way to come look at a PC. Hopefully they end up buying it and not just look at it and leave. Okay, but here's the PC that is hopefully going to sell. It's the i5-6400 with the 1050Ti. And then here it is all set up working. So how long have you been like building PCs? Uh, I've been doing, I'm going on almost like three years. Oh, wow. Are you a PC flipper or someone that just recently built their first PC and you want to save a little extra cash? Thanks to today's video sponsor, Super CDK, they are making it super easy to save money on a legitimate Windows 10 license for any of your PCs. Head over to supercdk.com, it'll be linked down below. Once you get there, find your desired Windows 10 license and use the discount code SPLA for 30% off. Once you receive your key, head over to your activation settings, select change product key, type in your key and hit activate. Bam, just like that, you activated Windows and saved money. Thanks to Super CDK for sponsoring today's video. The links are down in the description and don't forget to use discount code SPLA for 30% off your order. Ooh, kind of a low shot right here. But we got 550 cash. I'll have the profit breakdown up on the screen right now. Yo, just ending the night off, chilling, playing some Apex, and I'm getting a few messages on PCs. Not a few, just one actually. This guy just messaged me about the i7 and the RX 570 PC, just asking if it's available. Still waiting on a response though. You guys wanna hear his response? Hey man, will you trade? the next day i got some packages today one of them was a case and one of them is this thing right here cases aren't too exciting but this definitely is so let's open this up okay so you guys remember i did order a 3060 ti from the new egg shuffle and i think that's what this is it arrived pretty quick and i'm super excited yo promo code for anyone watching if you want ten dollars off of fifty dollars at new egg auto use promo code drive Comment down below if you use this. I want to know if anyone used it. But there you guys go. Take all this out. Ooh, yes it is. Okay, so here's the B550 motherboard that it was bundled with. It's the Asus Tough B550 M Plus, and this will be perfect for a high-end Ryzen flip with the 3060 Ti. There it is, ladies and gents. Ooh, yeah. The ASUS RTX 3060 Ti. I've never seen this model before, and it looks really cool. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so getting this 3060 Ti is exciting and all, but I love building PCs and flipping them. So let's use the case that I got today and build a PC. This PC is using an awesome combo deal that I got off Mercari. It isn't the best deal in terms of value, but it's a deal nonetheless. It came with 8 gigs of RAM, but we're not going to be using that. The CPU is the i5-7500. It's only a 4-core, four 4-threaded four with a base speed of 3.4 gigahertz. I value this at $55. And the motherboard is an Asus Prime B250MC. It has an ugly green PCB, but at least it has 4 DIMM slots and it came with an IO shield. I value this at $60. Like I said, I'm not going to be using the RAM that the bundle came with. I'm using a 16 gigabyte kit. This was actually on Mercari as well. It was originally a 32 gigabyte kit, but I split it up into two separate 16 gig kits. It's a Micron kit clocked at 2133 megahertz. Slow speed, but it's older Intel, so it's fine. I'm going to try and spice these RAM sticks up with some RGB heat sinks. The GPU is pretty overkill for this Intel chip, but I want to get another 1070 build on the market because they sell pretty good. I'm using the Gigabyte G1 1070. Also going to be using 240GB SSD and a WD Blue 1TB hard drive. 
Power supply is a 460 BP 80 plus bronze unit from EVDA. The case is the DIY PC Zeta ARGB. I haven't built in this case before, so I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out. Comes with an ARGB fan and a fan and RGB controller in the back of the case. A couple aesthetic upgrades that I'm going to be adding. I'm using a Vetro V5, definitely not needed to cool the i5, but it'll help with the looks. And then I'm using an RGB RAM kit from Easy DIY. As always, I'll be applying fresh thermal paste to the CPU and GPU. Anyways, let's build this thing. Okay, first step is I wanna install these RGB heat sinks to the RAM sticks here. At the time when I bought these, these were only 20 bucks. So if these look pretty good, I would say they're maybe a good value, but who knows? Comes with a little screwdriver included, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I prefer my WoW stick because it's magnetic as well. It also comes with thermal pads to put right on the memory itself, which is pretty cool. So it stays protected between this little metal here and the memory itself. All right, now let's just put this little cover back on. Hopefully I did this all right. <laughs> all right, one heat sink applied to the RAM. The thermal pad is kind of sticking out a little bit, but that shouldn't be a really big problem. Kind of remind me of the G-Skill RAM sticks, like a little knockoff version of them. So hopefully they look pretty sick. And they are also 5 volt ARGB, so they can hook up to the included RGB controller that came with our case. I also did trim off the excess thermal pads because there was kind of a lot just overlapping and I think it was getting in the way. Yeah, the RAM is fully installed now. Let's finish this build up. Okay, I just got the motherboard installed. And honestly, this case is pretty tiny. Like this motherboard almost takes up the whole case. This case only came with one fan and it's one intake fan. So I'm gonna be adding just a normal black fan in the back for an exhaust. So the PC is done. I'm just having it run heaven benchmark. It's staying pretty chilly. There's the FPS on that thing. Here's a little sneak peek. And I'm just eating some beef ramen and gonna watch some YouTube. So the build is done, as well as the ramen. It was pretty good if you were wondering. Let's talk about the RGB RAM heat sinks. They are nice and all. They do have a few LED hotspots on them, which I'm not a big fan of, but it definitely adds a nice touch to the build. Speaking of the build, the total cost was $482.21. Pretty expensive for what the specs are in my opinion, but I'm going to be listing it at $850, so there's still room for profit. One eternity later. Today is Saturday, so technically we only have one day left. And I don't know, it's kind of slowing down, but today someone did message me for my address and they said they'd be here around 2.45. I actually just got done watching the new Spider-Man watch at like 10 in the morning. Honestly, pretty good, not gonna spoil it for any of you guys, but if you watched it, let me know down in the comments if you liked it or not. But yeah, that guy did say he should be around here at 2.45, so hopefully he doesn't flake and then we will get another sale in. Okay, that first guy that said he was gonna be here, he definitely ran late and he's here right now, so hopefully this PC sells. Whew, yes, there we go guys one confirmed sell and someone actually just said yo, what's your address? So there might be one more person coming. I'll have the profit up on the screen right now for this PC Here's the PC that's hopefully gonna sell it's the one with the 1066 gigabyte The guy was lowballing me on text and I just told him no I just said no I won't go that low So hopefully he doesn't try to lowball me in person if he does then he's just gonna have to drive back home waste his gas Whew, ladies and gents, that PC sold. It is gone. That is two PCs sold tonight. Profit margins will be up on the screen right now. Sorry for the bad lighting, just chilling in the living room. Um, but yeah, I wish I was recording, but there's not really a good angle in here with this Christmas tree. But yeah, he did try to, well, he didn't really lowball me. I just said, yep, I'm only going 625. He's like, all he does is 600, man. I was like, nope, 625 is my max. He said, oh, fuck it. So we got 625. It was on Venmo though, not cash. But anyways, two PCs sold. <sighs> Sadly, the week is over. It has definitely slowed down in the second half of this week. I'm still waiting on cases to arrive from Newegg. I'm guessing they just keep getting delayed because like weather conditions and maybe just close to the holidays, but they still keep getting delayed. Anyways, let's talk about those profits. In total, we sold five PCs within this week. The first PC was the i7-3770K and the GTX 960 computer. I built it for $352.99 and sold it for $550, granting us a profit of $197.01. The second PC was the day after that on the 12th. It was the Ryzen 3 and GTX 1070 PC. This thing gave us a fat profit of $443.29. I built it for $406.71 and sold it for $850. Thank you Shane for that Ryzen 3 once again.
The third PC was three days after that on the 16th. It was a 1050 Ti and i5 PC. The build cost was $360.99 and it sold for just over $500, netting me a profit of $189.01. The last two PCs were sold on the same night, one after another. The first one was the RX 570 PC and it sold for $625. I built it for $331 and that PC gave me a profit of $200.93. The last PC is the only one that didn't sell for asking price. It was the GTX 1060 PC. I built it for $287.68 and sold it for $625 giving me a pretty fat profit of $337.32. Which flip was your favorite? Let me know down below. Are you guys ready for the final reveal of how much money I made in one week of flipping computers? Get ready. The total profit was $1,460 and, and some change. I don't know the exact number, but it is definitely up on the screen. In total though, I made $3,200, but only $1,400 of that was profit. But in one week, I would say that is definitely super good. Keep in mind, it is not always like this. I don't always sell five PCs a week. I would say my average PC sells, I sell on average maybe three PCs a week. But anyways, smash like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you loved it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.